if you have any experience with working in themes or working in WordPress and using themes, you're familiar with the idea of installing a theme. However, Genesis uses something called child themes. Now, a child theme is not something that Genesis invented. Child themes were, in fact, invented by WordPress. Child themes are a way of, of augmenting an existing theme. What Genesis does is it provides a base level of functionality and then expects you to come along with a child theme to add on top of it. So what is a child theme? A child theme is a theme that requires another theme to operate. That is, it builds on or modifies another theme's appearance, or it builds on or modifies another theme's functionality. But without that other theme, it won't work. It is, it is dependent upon a parent theme in order to work. So historically, the child theme was imagined as a way to make minor changes to a theme without hacking the, the core theme files. So before child themes, you know, if you had a theme and you'd installed it and you wanted to change the color of a font or the size of a font or a background color or something like that, the only way for you to do that would be to open up that themes files and make the change in that themes files itself. And, well, in fact, Thesis was one of the sources of shifting WordPress away from this because one of Thesis's innovations was to have a system of customizing a theme that would survive upgrades. And if you hacked the themes core files, you wouldn't be able to upgrade it because as soon as you upgraded the theme, you would lose those changes that you'd made to it. And so WordPress came up with this thing called a child theme, which allows you to segregate whatever customization you may do into a separate theme so that you can upgrade the underlying theme without having or without losing those changes. Now, it used to be the case, or it was originally imagined as the case, as a way of making small stylistic changes. So if you wanted to change a font color or a font size or a font style, if you wanted to change a background color or a background image, it was just imagined as a way of making minor modifications to a theme. Well, except that things changed and themes began developing themselves as theme frameworks. And the current practice with Genesis is a child theme is not actually a minor alteration to, to the Genesis theme. It's not just a little change of color here or font style there. Uh, what really happens is that Genesis child themes are really entirely new themes that are built off of the Genesis core. And they're not simply stylistic changes, but they bring with them a whole set of custom functionality. And so it's really sort of child theme on steroids as compared to what child themes were imagined a couple of years ago when, when WordPress started developing the function of a child theme. see, I think I've lost my slide. Yep, I did lose my slide. So when we talk about child themes, it's important to understand the relationship between the parent and the child theme. And what happens is the WordPress looks first to the child theme and gets whatever settings and information WordPress needs in order to render the page. And then anything left over that it doesn't get from the child theme, it gets from the parent theme. So what happens is the child theme essentially overrides or takes precedence over any settings or configuration that exists in the parent theme. Now, you can use Genesis without a child theme. Genesis is, in fact, is fully functional without a child theme. However, it does have a very minimal style, as you'll see later on this evening when we install Genesis. It does have a very minimal style, and it has very few options for changing that style. If you're f familiar at all with Thesis, you're familiar with Thesis having many, many options that you can set that change the appearance of, of your site, whether it's font size or font color or columns or, you know, really hundreds of potential settings that you can set. 
Genesis doesn't have settings like that. Genesis relies on child themes to bring that kind of function to the theme. And so for that reason, most people don't use Genesis alone. Most people use Genesis with a child theme and and the authors of Genesis expect you to use a child theme to make Genesis do what you want to do. Okay. 